Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Friday, October 13th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar, starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So to me, I'm still definitely looking at this move down. There's a crescent to this move up, and I still am a big believer that this is going to break out of all these highs and go up to probably at least a $2,200 area and maybe even a lot higher than that. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. This weekly candle is looking extremely bullish. It is looking like this is ending a crescent right at the 50% Fibonacci retracement after making a three-way pattern to the downside. It will be interesting to see how this weekly candle closes because if it can closes looking like that, I would definitely say that's the end of a crescent and the continuation of the uptrend. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. Daily time frame, I mean, it is very, very impulsive to the upside, and I would consider this a trend. I would actually consider this like an A, B, C, D, E, like a contracting triangle for the wave B. And I think this right here is also a trend, but I think that trend is a wave C. It did kind of turn right in the middle of these two fibs, but on the higher time frame, you can see that it did kind of respect that on the weekly. It is very, very impulsive, so for me, I would definitely be looking for long entries, especially on the shorter time frames for the continuous of this uptrend especially if that really is the end of an ABC correction which it looks like it is so going down to the four hour time frame I mean look how this has just been making higher lows higher lows higher lows the whole way up there is really no reason at all to think this uptrend is over and it very easily could just keep on continuing to make higher highs higher lows which is why at least until I get a break of structure to the downside I definitely will continue to look for longs at the end of pullbacks especially on shorter time frames so taking it down to the one hour time frame, I mean, this doesn't really look like a pattern that's over to me. I mean, maybe it will make a pullback going into the end of the day, which I hope it does, because if it does make another three way pattern down like an A, a B and a C correction, and then it makes a higher low and turns out of percentage of this move up the, like that three ways down and positive up at a Fibonacci retracement level, then that would be exactly what I would want to see for an entry to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. But really, this there's no proof that this is even going down like that. I mean, it very easily could, could just continue to stretch out. But if it does pull back, like I said, that's good for us because it should give us a chance to go long at the end of the pullback for the continuation of the uptrend. Just like all these other questions, one, two, three ways down, go long. One, two, three ways down, go long. One, two, three ways down, go long. That's exactly what I'm looking for in the future for more entries to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord group. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.